Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Sanger DNS sequencing. So before watching this video, I recommend you to watch previous video on the structure of the DNA. So if you understand the concept of the structure of the DNA, then you can understand this concept of Sanger DNA sequencing. So before entering into this topic of Sanger DNA sequencing, I am going to say one of the most uh, important point. So what is a dessert? Firstly, you have to know about this deoxyribose sugar as well as this di-deoxyribose sugar. So what is deoxyribose sugar? Deoxyribose sugar can bind to the nucleotide, but di-deoxyribose sugar cannot bind to the nucleotide. Why? Let us enough. So if you see the structure of this deoxyribose and di-deoxyribose sugars, so this is your deoxyribose sugar structure and this is your di-deoxyribose sugar structure. So if you see in the structure of this deoxyribose sugar, at the third carbon, this is the third carbon, first carbon, second carbon and third carbon. So at the third carbon, there is a presence of hydroxy group or as OH group in the deoxyribose sugar. But if you see in the case of di-deoxy, hydroxyl group is not present only hydrogen group is present right so this is the main difference between deoxyribose sugar as well as di deoxyribose sugar so one of the most important thing you have to remember is that this deoxyribose sugar can bind to the nucleotide but this di deoxyribose sugar cannot bind to the nucleotide right remember this point it will be used further to understand the concept of this sanger dna sequencing so now let us discuss about the sanger dna sequencing now, let us discuss about Sanger DNA sequencing. So what are the ingredients which are required for this Sanger DNA sequencing uh, experiment? DNA primer, DNA polymerase enzyme, DNTPs. DNTPs is abbreviated as deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates. So there are four types of deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates. They are DATP, DGTP, DCTP, DTTP. DATP is abbreviated as deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate. DGTP is abbreviated as deoxyribogumenosine triphosphate. DCTP is abbreviated as deoxyribocytosine triphosphate and deoxyribothiamine triphosphate. And here another nucleotide will also be present that is uracil. But as we are discussing about the DNA sequencing, the uracil will not be present in the structure of the DNA. So if you see the structure of the DNA video, then you can understand here in the structure of the DNA, uracil will not be present. But if you see in the structure of the RNA, the uracil will be present. Right? So this is the main difference between the DNA as well as the RNA. Where uracil will be present in the DNA and uracil will be absent in the RNA. So right? So these are the ingredients which are going to take and they come into the fifth one. DDNTPs which is abbreviated as di-deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates. So here you have understood the concept right? Deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates uh, consists of deoxyribose sugar. But here in this di-deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates di-deoxyribose sugar is present as I have said you before. So in the DNTPs, deoxyribose sugar is present and in DDNTPs, di-deoxyribose sugar is present as the abbreviation itself indicates that, right? So now you are going to start the experiment. So what you are going to do is that firstly, see, you are going to take four test tubes, right? Why are you going to take four test tubes? Because we, are, we have here four nucleotides, right? So we are going to take four test tubes and what you are going to do is that in every test tube you are going to add the DNA. So here the numbering which I have given indicates that DNA. Now, number one is nothing but the DNA, right? So the first ingredient is nothing but the DNA which we have took and here also the first ingredient indicates the DNA. So in every test tube you are going to add the DNA and in the every test tube you are going to add the primer, second one. And coming to the third one, in every test tube you are going to add the D DNA polymerase and in every test tube you are going to add all four nucleotides. I mean, see DNTPs are present, right? So uh, four types of DNTPs are present. So four types of DNTPs will be present in every type of test tube. You have to add every type of DNTPs into these four test tubes, right? All of these four nucleotides you are going to add in these four test tubes. But coming to the fifth one, which is nothing but DDNTPs, di-deoxynucleotide triphosphates, in the first tube, in the first test tube, you are going to add DDATP. And in the second test tube, you are going to add DDGTP. And in the third test tube, you are going to add DDCTP. And in the fourth test tube, you are going to add DDTTP, right? So DDATP is nothing but di-deoxyadenosine triphosphate. Remember, the di-deoxynucleotide triphosphate consists of di-deoxyribose sugar, which cannot bind to the nucleotide, okay? So DDATP is nothing but di-deoxyadenosine triphosphate, di-deoxyguanine triphosphate, di-deoxycytosine triphosphate, di-deoxythiamine triphosphate, right? So in this way, you are going to arrange uh, all the ingredients in these four test tubes. Now what happens in the first test tube, let us see now. 
the process occurs same in every test tube but the result will be different how i'm going to say enough so you are going to take the first test tube and what happens once you are going to do uh, once you are going to add all the ingredients into the test tube first process you are going to do is a denaturation so this is the dna which you have added right and now once the denaturation process is done actually what is denaturation separation of the strands so this is a double stranded dna right once the process of the denaturation is done where you are going to supply the heat high amount of heat high temperature of the heat then the strands will get separated as the arrow marks indicates that the breaking uh, you know breaking of these bonds which are present between the nucleotide strands and then the separation of the strands occurs so this is the process of the denaturation this is the first step which occurs in every test tube so now what you are going to do in the next one so here the strands has been separated right and here in the second step what you are going to do is that you are going to add the primer you are going to add the primer so what is primer primer is a strand which will be complementary to the template strand so here the two strands has been separated right and in these two strands you can take any one of the complement any when any one of the template strand so either you can use this as a template strand or else either you can use this first strand as a template strand but here i am going to use this as a template strand okay so now we are going to add the primer and primer is nothing but the strand which is going to be added which is complementary to the template strand right so the nucleotides which are present in the primer should be complementary to the template strand so for example if you take the primer whose size is four nucleotide base pairs so here it consists of four nucleotides so which will be complementary to the nucleotides which are present in the template strand don't forget it okay so up to here we are we have took this primer which consists of four nucleotides right remember the primer will be run from five prime to three prime direction and now in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to add the dna polymerase dna polymerase right so what is what is the main purpose of this dna polymerase let us see now so here the dna polymerase will be added and this dna polymerase will be running from 3 prime to 5 prime direction of template strand listen to my sentences properly you see this uh, circle which i have drawn is nothing but the dna polymerase and this dna polymerase will run from 3 prime to 5 prime direction but the it forms primer from 5 prime to 3 prime direction right 5 prime to 3 prime direction so this is a basic concept i think everyone know and now this is the dna polymerase which runs from 3 prime to 5 prime direction of template strand and now as it moves towards the forward direction then it starts adding the nucleotides right if you see the mechanism of the transcription then you can understand the concept so as it moves towards the forward direction then it will add nucleotides so here one of the most important thing which you have remember which you have to remember is that so i have said you that this can add the nucleotides this dna polymerase acts uh, you know adds the nucleotides and it will extend this 5, 5 prime to 3 prime direction and it will extend this primer right so either it can use dntps or ddatps right so as we have took here the first test tube so what is what is of uh, you know what is the fifth ingredient which is present in the fifth test tube sorry fifth uh, ingredient which is present in the first test tube dideoxy atp dideoxy adenosine triphosphate so here you are going to take dntps so what i have said you in the in the in the explanation of the test tubes what i have said you I, in every test tube we are going to add all type of dntps that's nothing but deoxy nucleotide triphosphates either it may be datps or dgtps dtcps or as any type of uh, you know nucleotides you are going to add them see now this primer or as this dna polymerase have a capacity to accept this nucleotide or as this nucleotide so if you accept this nucleotides i mean dntps which consists of deoxyribose sugar so as i have said you deoxyribose sugar can bind to the nucleotide right don't forget it so this is a very typical concept to understand so listen properly what i am saying so you are going to add this dntps so once you add the dntps then this dna polymerase will accept it so once it accepts this so this is a only we have primer with only four base pairs so here this dna polymerase is moving towards forward direction i mean to the three prime direction then what happens here this dntps has been accepted one of the nucleotide let's say adenine nucleotide has been accepted but the acceptance of the nucleotide should be complementary to the template strand so here adenine has been chosen because here in the template strand thymine is present so what is the complementary nucleotide to the thymine adenine so thymine so uh, you know adenine is accepted by this dna polymerase and it will extend this primer and this process is called as extension right so now here in this way uh, all the nucleotides will get attached right all the nucleotides will get attached so if you see here in this way see here at the fifth one adenine has been attached and here guanine has been attached thymine guanine and thymine so all of this has been utilized by this dna polymerase 
but here now what will happen is that here the red color one indicates that dideoxy atp and dideoxy atp will get binded over here so here dideoxy atp has been added but only one only one percent only one adenosine trinucleotide phosphate will be added that's the two deoxyribose right dideoxyribose sugar will be added so this has been indicated with capital a and this will be added here so once it is added here it cannot bind to the other nucleotide why because there is a presence of dideoxyribose sugar in this ddatp dideoxy adenosine triphosphate indicates that there is a presence of dideoxyribose sugar so what i have said you at the beginning of the video so if you see here dideoxyribose sugar cannot bind to the nucleotide right so here the dideoxyribose sugar will come and it will attach and it will be received by this dna polymerase and it will get attached to this primer but if you if you if you want to move this dna polymerase towards it should accept the nucleotide but it cannot accept because there is a presence of dideoxy adenosine triphosphate once there is a presence of dideoxy adenosine triphosphate then it cannot bind to any other nucleotide because there is a presence of dideoxy adenosine triphosphate nucleotide here right so this red color one indicates the dideoxy adenosine triphosphate so as there is no addition of the any, any other nucleotides then what will happen this the primer will be removed so remember the size of this primer which has been removed is 10 base pairs so if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so totally 10 nucleotides are present so the size of this first primer which has been removed is 10 nucleotide base pairs long so in this way you have obtained one of the primer so how the second primer can be obtained so now if you see here again the first primer has been removed but the template strand will be present as it is right but the first primer will be removed and now again you are going to do the process of this uh, you know adding of the primer and once you add the primer then this dna polymerase will also be added once it starts moving towards the forward direction then it receives the nucleotide which i have said you and here at the first itself if it receives the dideoxy adenosine triphosphate then it cannot add any other nucleotide because there is a presence of dideoxyribose sugar in this nucleotide phosphate right so as it binds over here itself at the beginning itself but if you see in the first primer formation here begin at the beginning uh, this dd atps has not been received the dntps has been received so it has been prolonged and it has been extended but coming to this again uh, time in here adenosine which has been uh, dd atp only one has been added over here right so dd atp will be added here such that it cannot bind to the any other nucleotide so first primer will first primer will be removed but if you see here at the beginning itself this dd atp has been attached without utilizing this dntps dd atp has been directly attached by this rna polymerase to this primer so what will happen it cannot bind to any other nucleotides so this dna polymerase also will not receive any other nucleotides such that the second primer will also be removed but the second primer uh, you know the size of the second primer is very short where it consists of only five base pairs one two three four five remember this uh, count it consists of only five base pairs so this is the second primer which has been removed so now coming to the third primer again you are going to add the primer again you are going to add this dntps and again you are going to add this ddatps here also and then what happens the dna polymerase will also be running towards uh, three prime direction uh, and then what will happen here here so here all of the nucleotides will be added here but coming to this thymine again there is a thymine which is present in this strand in the template strand right so now here there is a presence of ddatp which will get attached right so once this ddatp has been attached so it cannot bind to any other nucleotide because of the presence of dideoxyribose sugar so now this primer will also be removed so this is your third primer so there are only three chances to occur because there are no more nucleotides which are present over here right so there are only three chances of uh, production of the primers so totally three primers has been produced right so totally how many primers will be produced in the first test tube only three primers will be produced and the same process you are going to do in the second test tube third test tube and fourth test tube but there is a change in the taking in the accepting of dideoxy guanine triphosphate in the second test tube dideoxy uh, you know cytosine triphosphate in this third test tube and dideoxy thymine triphosphate in this fourth test tube so there will be change in this fifth ingredient which are going to take that indicates that in the first case we have took dd atp that's something but we have discussed up till now we have discussed about the first test tube right for example if you wanted to take second test tube then you are going to add dd 
జీటీపీ గువానోసిన్ ట్రైఫాస్ఫేట్ డైడియాక్సిడ్ గువానోసిన్ ట్రైఫాస్ఫేట్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ డై గువానోసిన్ ట్రైఫాస్ఫేట్ ఆల్సో ఇట్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ డైడియాక్సిడ్ రైబో షుగర్ బికాస్ హియర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ రిప్రజెంటెడ్ డిఈడి రైట్ డైడియాక్సిడ్ గువానోసిన్ ట్రైఫాస్ఫేట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఇన్ ద కేస్ ఆఫ్ ది సెకండ్ ఇష్యూ బై ఎమ్ సేయింగ్ రిమంబర్ రైట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ యాడ్ దట్ డిడి జిటిపి దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ సర్చ్ ఫర్ అ పర్టికులర్ కాంప్లిమెంట్ న్యూక్లియోటైడ్ రైట్ సో హియర్ the c is a complementary nucleotide for the guanine right so here if you take there is a presence of this dd gtp then it can bind over here and the particular primer will be removed so you have understood the concept i think so so in this way each and every process will be done for all tissues so till now we have done many process in all of this four tissues you are going to do the same process in all of this four tissues that's nothing but the denaturation primer unling and you know extension and the removal of primer i mean separating the primer from the template strand and this process will be done for all tissues the process will be same for the all tissues but the result will be different as i have said you and now after performing that process in all of this four tissues then what you are going to do is that you are going to do the process of the gel electrophoresis so i think you have a basic idea about this gel electrophoresis right so it is mainly used for the separation of the molecules which are going to be added in these wells so this gel electrophoresis consists of agarose gel so this is your agarose gel and it consists of negative electrode as well as a positive electrode and once the electric current electric voltage current has been supplied to this then the molecules which are present as a group can be separated by moving towards a positive direction don't rem- uh, don't forget to remember that the molecules start separating from negative electrode to the positive electrode and now here you are going to uh, here the, in, as i have said you till now we have discussed about the first test tube right in that first test tube totally three primers has been obtained and the three primers will be added in this first well so all of these are the four wells because we have take we have taken four test tubes right so here we have to take four wells and in the first well you are going to add the first test tube sample and here in the first test tube sample three primers will be present so i have told you what is the length of the first primer which has been obtained 10 base pairs right at the point of 10 the movement of that primer will get stopped right because the length of that primer is 10 base pairs such that the movement towards the positive direction i mean if, if all the molecules are present over here all the primers are present over here it starts moving towards the positive direction towards the downward direction so as the uh, primer is 10 nucleotide base pair length long then it will stop at the point of 10 right and if you see in the second primer so what is the length of the second primer which i have said you five base pairs long so here it will stop at the five base pair long i mean at the point of this five and coming to the third base pair it is 14 base pair long so it will stop at the point of 14 in the same way you are going to add the second sample third sample and fourth sample i mean all of these test tube samples which are going to obtain the form of a primers all of these primers will be added in these three wells and you are going to take the results from this gel electrophoresis so in this is the method which are going to do in this sanger dna sequencing thank you